Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorials number 13 and this is editing tips. Uh, we've discussed a few ways to edit uh, the faces and stuff not extruding and knife cutting uh, the way you can affect the faces and rotate them. Uh, we'll be going through that in this tutorial so when you're watching my more advanced modeling tutorials you'll know what to do. Okay. So I'm gonna go into top view and delete this, and I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna add mesh, add mesh, and I'm gonna add a torus, and all these settings are fine. Okay, I'm just gonna scale this up. Okay, I'm gonna go into side view. See how it's laid down flat along the y-axis, this green one. Well, I want it tilted up, and I want it perfectly tilted up. How you would do this? is the same way I did the boot how I made that the uh, top face completely flat you would just hit watch these numbers right here you would hit R control and just rotate until it says 90 degrees see how it says negative 90 either way uh, 90 or negative 90 doesn't matter okay so now it's compl it's uh, perfectly rotated 90 degrees just for more precision modeling I want to just set this to smooth and add subsurfing. Just level one subsurfing. Okay, uh, instead of editing the vertices and where you can see through it, I'm going to change this to where you can't see through and I'm going to be editing the faces. Alright. Uh, so, how we would edit a. F say we uh, want to edit and ro say we want to rotate all these faces at one time okay instead of doing this and then come over here rotating that one and rotating all the same we can uh, select multiple faces and uh, rotate these how we would do this though is instead of using this median point which the median point takes all these and puts them into one area and just averages up and wherever the average is for that area it rotates them around that area uh, hopefully that makes sense like around the uh, circle okay if that don't make sense you really don't need to know the technical area anyways just it rotates uh, as a whole not as a single okay so how we would change to where we can rotate each individual face is to come here right next to the uh, solid and wireframe uh, buttons and hit individual centers this will individually rotate each one of the centers so hit R and you can see them rotating each individual center alright uh, a really helpful tool especially when we're doing something like this so go into top view hit alt and kind of select the center of this and right click and hit alt shift again just uh keep alt shift and uh, let me start over sorry hit alt and select this then keep alt, keep alt down and just hit shift again and hold it and then hit that and then it'll it'll select both uh, just try that for yourself and you'll get it Okay, uh, one thing to watch out for though is if you wanted to extrude region, okay, and size this up, and you have this still selected, you'll notice it doesn't size it up accurately. It sizes this one up smaller than this side, okay? So use the undo key. Okay, just watch out for that. Uh, and if you have multiple faces selected, you can also hit the E key and extrude individual faces. Okay, uh, you can scale this larger or smaller. See, it does each individual thing. So, so you scale them down a little bit, and you come down here, go to median point, and scale them up. Then you scale all these faces up. Okay. Uh, and you can really do some interesting things with this. Just for example, 
Uh, you can do something like individual faces, scale them inward, change it to here, scale it all to zero, holding down the control, and A, A, W, remove the doubles. Okay, and we've created this. It's very interesting. Uh, you can use this for lots of things. Not maybe not this particular shape, but just how it works. Okay. Um, now for our next session, we will, or our next uh, tip, we will learn how to rotate an object around this. Okay. Select your uh, your one face, and come down here and select 3D cursor. Okay. So if you hit R, it will rotate around that. This is this is really good if uh, you need to rotate something from here to the other side exactly. Okay, hopefully you'll understand that. So that's a very helpful that's a very helpful uh, tool. And uh, one more thing for this tutorial is we're going to talk about how to move the the uh, the cursor around. So if you left click, it'll move. Uh, uh, unselect this by A, and then see how it moves this cursor around that follows wherever you uh, left click. Well, once you've moved this out of the play, out of, out of the area you don't want it, and you add a mesh, that's where it adds it. Well, say you don't want it there. You want this to go back here. Okay, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. But you can't get this dead into the center of this entire grid and you want it right here you'll never get it as accurate as you want okay you'll never get it here perfectly how we do this is zoom out until you have a pretty good grid distance where there's not little grids every end of it everywhere just kinda zoom out and hit shift s this is our snap cursor okay selection so shift s we want the cursor okay to the grid so now the cursor has snapped to this grid because that it just finds the closest place so we're to put it here shift s cursor to grid it snaps over here and that is as close as you can get it so i'm going to move this object back okay and uh... If we want this cursor to be in the center of this, all we have to do is, okay, all we have to do is select the object and hit Shift S, cursor to selection. You can just play around with other settings. Okay, so now this cursor is in the middle of this object. Um, and just keep up with that. It's very uh, useful. And that concludes this tutorial. So, hopefully, just try to memorize it as best as you can and uh, practice around with it, test some things out, and uh, just keep watching new tutorials.